Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. Okay, I will start for this class today, Dr. Fugar. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to visiting lecture today. For everyone, to those who have entered the room, we are about to begin. So please have a seat and make yourself comfortable. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the Honorable Dr. Fugar Abdul Lafi. Yeah. yeah. As a member of the Union of Arctics Doctor of Philosophy in Art Study, head of the Descent Department from Western Caspian University, and a very warm welcome to the all participants and students from Stecom University. Is it in the pleasure to have all of you on this memorable occasion? And I would like to thank God for gathering us here in a visiting lecture program regarding topic web, web design. Before we begin, please allow me to read our agenda this afternoon. First, there will be start a class presentation by Dr. Fugar Abdul Lafi. And finally, there will be a question and answer session after the presentation and continue with the brief photo session at the end. Ladies and gentlemen, without any further ado, we will start even today, delivered by Dr. Fugar. Yeah, for Dr. Fugar, the time is yours. Thank you. Okay. Hi guys, let me introduce myself at first. Uh, how uh, Noita uh, said uh, already, my name is Vukar and surname is Abdullah. I am teacher of the Western Caspian University in Baku. And uh, today our uh, lecture is about web design. Maybe you are all designer. I do hope, and that's why uh, this lecture will be very useful for you, for you uh, to know uh, something about web design. Of course, uh, during a one hour, it's uh, uh, hard to explain everything about web design, but I will try to um, to make uh, some uh, observation about uh, web design. To understand uh, what is a web design, of course, we uh, should know uh, how to distinguish uh, the design work, design job from the artist job. You know, the designer is also an artist. But uh, what distinguish, what, uh, which differences are between uh, art, artist work and uh, designer works? We should know that at first. An artist works in a workshop for, exhi for exhibit their works, his or her works. It means artistical work is for exhibition, but designer works for produce, for production, his or her works. And that's why uh, the designer should think Firstly, about production. Okay, when we know it exactly, we are designer, and we should think firstly about production. Okay, it means we are between customer, client, and of course, selling. It means uh, maybe by web design programmer. Look, which differences are between designer, similar designer, and web designer? It's a crucial thing. Web designer work in a team. When the work designer cannot com uh, communicate properly with client and programmer, then uh, this job uh, cannot be successful. In order to get successful project, uh, web design, web designer should work hardly with client and with program because web designer is a between them and always communicate with this client and program. It's crucial thing. Okay, what, what's the web design? I will show you, of course, some uh, presentation where is written uh, 
everything in English. I will send it, of course, to your to the group. You can read it uh, when you have a free time. But uh, I will, of course, to show you some codes. You know, today, nowadays, a uh, web designer should know not only some soft programs uh, like Photoshop, Corel Draw, 3D Max, and uh, Adobe Illustrator, and so on. It's good, of course. It's uh, useful for web designer. But my opinion is that that web designer should know some codes. You know, some codes. What's the codes? Codes. It means. A uh, web designer should have some knowledge about coding, about coding. Why? Because in that way, it will be easier to work for programmer and for client. I will show you everything. Now, uh, can you see monitor? It's yes. Okay. okay, very good, very good. At first, our web design. You know, nowadays, web design is very important. Why? Because everywhere, every day, every hour, every second, people are using web pages. Of course. And that's why their work for web designer is a very important, very crucial. Why? Because I am a customer, I am using web pages. I open this web page, and if it's not attractive and it's not good, maybe gives me a not so more good right information, I will exactly leave this web page and go to another web page. It means you are losing customers. That's why the work, the job of the web designer is very actual. Web designer should make web page attractive firstly and must think about speed of a web page when we overload the web page it means this page will open very highly very slowly when very slowly okay as a customer i will leave this page it means the web designer then lose uh, uh, the customers. That's why web design is very important. Web design is a profit of the uh, of the company. Each company, when uh, opens some, I don't know, some shops, some businesses, each of them, or university, or some other uh, other companies, then when it opens, it uh, must have a web page, website. And in this thing, we should uh, work with the customer. That's why web design is very crucial. It means when we make our web page attractive, nice, and uh, give a lot of right information uh, in the web page, it means this company company will uh, get some profit and their works will be successful of course and that's why web design is uh, very actual nowadays i uh, show you our uh, lecture plan in order that you have some opinion about what uh, what about i will talk today the firstly what is the web design i have uh, almost explained you that designer and web designer uh, which differences are between uh, designer is a uh, designer is a general uh, meaning. It means it can be graphic designer, interior design, exterior design, and so on. But web design belongs to graphic design. It means we have to know how to draw some layouts, some sketches with a pencil and with a paper. And then we can show our sketch to the client. If he or she agrees, then we can make 
uh, our web design uh, more and more beautiful. Then the second one, why web design is so important for us? Let's go uh, talk about web design a bit. Here is written everything for you. Of course, I will not read everything. It uh, doesn't matter. I will explain you and how I uh, already had said, uh, I will uh, send you this uh, information additionally in order that you can uh, read it uh, properly. Okay, we have talked about that uh, nowadays web design takes huge part of our graphic design. Okay, then why their web design is so important? You can be in a holiday, you can be in an uh, office, you can be at the university, it doesn't matter. You are using always their web pages. For example, maybe until uh, during my lecture, you have used a lot of web pages and you open web pages and you look through. And if these web pages are not interesting, you will leave it uh, immediately. Why? Because they were not attractive, not uh, maybe uh, uh, not, not more information uh, would be there. And that's why it's a very uh, crucial thing. Then we'll talk about responsibility of web designer. How I have told already, uh, the responsibility of web designer is a more than a similar uh, graphic designer. Why? Because a uh, web designer works in a team. I have told about it. But how uh, must be done his plan? A uh, web designer should uh, write down everything what he wants to do. For example, we are going to the uh, client and client wants uh, to have some web pages. Okay, we have to write down everything, all comments of clients, what he uh, wish, uh, which ideas uh, client had, we have to uh, write down. Then uh, with these comments, we should uh, with the pencil and the, with the paper uh, make our sketches and maybe some lines. And then we go to the client and show him our works and uh, we tell uh, him that uh, we have some ideas and we can uh, show him also our portfolio. It means our last jobs, last works, recently works maybe in order that the client has some uh, opinion about our uh, possibilities. Uh, maybe how can we uh, work in a team? How can we understand it? And our maybe uh, uh, our taste, our, our colors uh, meaning and our structural meaning, it is uh, very important also. And when uh, clients agree with us, the second responsibility of us is also make some uh, sketches. But these sketches must be not one, not two, more and more sketches because we will show that to the client and the client will maybe choose one or two of them. And then we will go, of course, where? Of course, we will go to our programs. You know, maybe all these programs, Photoshop's, Corel Draw, maybe Adobe Illustrator, 3D Max, and so on. There are a lot of new, uh, maybe uh, modern, more modern uh, uh, programs nowadays, which we can use. But I advise you, to make some uh, uh, maybe a sketch on this program, but do not send it to programmer because you know programmer is a such man uh, or a woman. He or she uh, doesn't understand a lot of 
about maybe Photoshop, Corel Draw, and other things. You should make it with the course, HTML, CSS. Maybe you uh, have already uh, heard about it. It's a structure of web pages. The programmer now also JavaScript. What's this JavaScript? JavaScript is a program which we uh, do not know. It is not our business to know JavaScript, but our business is to know HTML and CSL because these two, uh, uh, like, say, uh, like a programs, uh, is, are the structure of web pages. Without it, we cannot properly uh, use web page. And uh, our programmer and our client do not have a exactly opinion what we want. Uh, you can imagine you are in uh, Indonesia as a designer. I am a programmer in Baku in Azerbaijan and client is, for example, in USA. You uh, uh, it is uh, impossible. You are not able to speak, to talk, or to write each time to customer and uh, to programmer. It is impossible. You will lose a lot of time when we talk uh, between uh, this person. And that's why I advise you to learn, of course, HTML, CSS uh, codes. I will show you today, no problem. But exactly you can learn, of course, uh, it's because when you write some codes, HTML and CSS codes, please don't uh, tell that uh, it's not a business of uh, designer. It's, it's crucial thing for web designer to know HTML and CSS. When you write some codes, and you send this uh, layout, this sketch of web page to your programmer and to your client, they can see your comments there. For example, you write down, uh, you write down, please, I have done this image. I have put down this image and uh, there is a title of the image. Please make this uh, image maybe moving, maybe maybe uh, turning around, like programmer will understand it and make it uh, exactly because you have written already down uh, your comments and then he will send you uh, the uh, last version and you can write down comments to him. It means responsibility of the web designer it's a working in a team, not alone, please. When you work alone, it's not so good result. It is not so successful work. You have to think in a team, team thinking. I should work with a customer. For me is a very important, his ideas and his wishes because he pay for it for me because he's uh, I pay money for web pages. I cannot uh, maybe uh, do something for myself. Okay, it's possible, but you have uh, have to show it to the client, and if he he uh, agrees, then you can uh, make it uh, easier on a uh, page, and then send to customer. Okay, the first responsibility of the web designer it's a uh, uh, it's a, a possibility to draw some sketch with a pencil and papers, like an artist. You think, and your hand must uh, make some uh, sketch. It's a crucial thing. It's a first responsibility. The second responsibility is uh, to know some HTML and CSS codes in order to write down some comments to show them to the client and to the customer, it's uh, to the, to the uh, programmer. And the uh, third uh, crucial thing for responsibility of a designer is also to know 
that he or she works in a team. Teamwork is uh, very important. When you work in a team, that, that will be very successful work. Okay, we go down. Okay, here is written, you see how is, uh, important it is to make some layers, to make some image and to uh, reflect them in a web page and show them to the client and the, to the programmer. Okay. And uh, you can read it down. There are a lot of information for you. Okay, styles of web design. Look, everywhere, everything in our life is change, changing, you know. Of course, styles of web design is also changing because our taste, our mining, our opinion are always changing with the new technologies maybe. Look, the first uh, web design was made uh, by Tim Berners-Lee in 1991, August 6th. But it was only writing, only fonts, maybe with uh, some colors, blue colors. There was no so difficult web design. Firstly, the style of a web design was about only, uh, only tables. Maybe we, uh, the designer, web designer, made some uh, tables, schedules like this. And they thought that schedules are a uh, easier way to uh, make uh, some information, to put down some information. But they do not think that a lot of information, a huge information, maybe some uh, uh, huge things, they make uh, the website uh, overloaded the websites and people do not have uh, any uh, you know uh, mood to read everything it is boring and uh, then the second style was uh, making a lot of images attractive images in order not to lose some uh, maybe uh, customers uh, utilizing uh, their web page. But it was also not so good idea. Why? Because some lot of images overloaded the page and the page opened very slowly. Exactly, uh, uh, when uh, in some countries, internet speed is uh, low, it is more difficult to open some pages. And that's why now it's uh, another style uh, it's uh, 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 we uh, should make our web pages in a minimum style, and we have uh, we have divided uh, already our web pages in three uh, parts. I will show you. We take some, uh, for example, now, nowadays style of uh, web pages. It's very important to know the first, it's like this, we make here header. We, uh, we, name, uh, we call it header, header. What's a header? Header is a, Title, it's a part, it's a uh, top part of the web page. And it's divided into two things, more, more three. You it's up to you. Here we make some menu. Menu. And here we write the name of the company. Secondly, it's a huge part of the web page, it's a body, body part. In a body part, we can make a lot of tables, a lot of schedules. It's up to us. I can make more or, or less. It's from client. If client has a lot of information about his firm, his company, 
excellent production, we can divide it into a lot of uh, tables. One, three, four, maybe, and more. Columns here, a lot of. And in each of them, we can put images or information or something other things. Like here, maybe here info, here, uh, for example, uh, some uh, pictures, here also information, here also picture, you see? It's up to us or up to the client, of course. Because we are a team, we work together, we can tell that. The uh, last part is a footer. Footer, where we write down our information. I write here footer. footer. In footer, we can write down our telephone number, uh, maybe WhatsApp number, mail address, uh, uh, where are we, uh, uh, our address, where are we living, and so on. All, uh, all our uh, connecting information. It means today's style, today's style is so. Make, uh, divide the page onto three parts. Uh, header part, where is menu also, the body part, where is the information, and the footer part where we write our contacts. Uh, it means uh, the contacts of our clients. Of course, you have done it, you have shown it to the client, and the next step, next step you can do it in uh, maybe in a maybe in a word also is possible. Word, why is the word possible also? Because we can make a lot of tables here. Look. I make a lot of tables here and I write here, maybe the name of our company. For example, for example, I write here, uh, mobile phones, mobile phones. For example, it's a company who uh, sells uh, mobile phones. Okay, the next step, it's a, it's a hit, header. And the next step, it's a menu, menu. It belongs also to uh, our header part. And here in menu, we can write about us. And the next we can make a gallery. In a gallery, we can put, of course, our, uh, our photos with the prizes, with the prize list of a mobile phone and so on. About us, okay. Uh, the customer put uh, uh, to the about us and it opens the page where is written about us, about the firm uh, and about history of the firm, about authorities of the firms and so on. Gallery, it's uh, uh, how I uh, told uh, already, uh, the um, mobile phones, uh, selling uh, production, the names, the prices, and uh, some uh, other informations. And uh, the thing is we, we can uh, write also contacts, why not? Because uh, if we want uh, that uh, some uh, customer utilizing our web page uh, should write down some information, some messages to us, okay, he can uh, click there and uh, this page will be open and we will uh, see what uh, he has uh, written to us, okay? You know that uh, web page, uh, the designing web page, of course, it's a one, it's a front end developing, which uh, consists also to programmer part. Partly it's a work of a web designer and partly it's a work of the uh, programmer. It means HTML and CSS, uh, belongs to web designer and JavaScript belongs to the uh, programmer. And this job, I write down HTML, CSS, these uh, two things, these two programs uh, belongs to web designer. And the uh, last one, and the last one, JavaScript, 
GS belongs to the programmer. And these three, three programs are uh, uh, construct, uh, constructed uh, the uh, front end developing. Front end develop. It means what we see on the page. It's a front end. But there is a, also back end of the uh, pro, uh, of, of the web pages, which also it's not our business. It's not business of a web designer. It's a business of programmer. He write down this code from back end developing because to have some connection with the client and the, with the firm. We write down something and this mail go to the uh, uh, to the firm or authorities. And uh, they write uh, something and it mails to the customer. These connections uh, are, uh, is made uh, by a programmer, a back end developing programmer. It's not our business. But why I uh, explained it to you, because when we write here contact and open this page, the page form, the FFG design, we are making, we have to make. But the coding, in order that this mail will be uh, will go to the customer and again to the uh, to the our uh, firm authorities, it's a thing. It's a uh, it's a uh, 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 thing uh, for a program. Then we uh, can write down in uh, maybe in menu some other things. But you have to uh, ask about it, of course, your uh, customer. Maybe you write here, uh, maybe prizes, or you can write down uh, maybe about uh, history of the uh, of the company and so on. It's your own. It's your uh, own topic. And then here, look here. I will uh, color it. Okay. It's a body part. It's a body part. Here you can write some information, information, or make some image, some information and some image. And it can be divided onto another information. For example, information about the prices, information about the, uh, about the companies, information about the producer, information about some other uh, maybe equipments which we will sell in this web page and so on. And the last one, the last one is, I will color it also. The last one is also the footer part where we write maybe WhatsApp number, WhatsApp number and uh, maybe uh, some email address or our address or uh, I don't know, Telegram. Maybe channel, channel uh, maybe uh, some uh, other uh, our contacts. This is the uh, actual style in a web page making, designing uh, uh, nowadays. Maybe in the future it will be changed also, hundred percently. Of course, everything is changing. But you now you should know it. It's a crucial thing. And then we go. Uh, we go to the structure and we can uh, about, uh, tell about structure of web design. When we uh, tell about structure of web design, it's a, a very important thing to speak about blocks. Blocks. The blocks are uh, also important. It means when we make some web design here, all these uh, schedules, all these tables, one of them, for example, this is one box. In a box, we can write down everything. We can put the images, some movies, some audios, some uh, pictures, some informations, some tables, schedules, uh, pictures, so on. A lot of things. It's up to a client and up to our team. But uh, it is uh, 
very interesting thing here. Uh, you know that we are using uh, web pages, we are open web pages in a different uh, places. Maybe today I don't have uh, any computer and I open it in my mobile phone. And in a two hours later, I open this web page in a monitor of my computer. It's a uh, huger, it's uh, uh, more uh, wider than my mobile phone. But how it's possible that when I open web page here, I see everything. And when I open it in a huge, in a wide monitor, I see everything also. How it's possible? Aha, uh -huh. here it's a crucial thing, grid. What's mean grid? You know, in English, it's a like rubber. Grid. Grid. Why it's grid uh, uh, very important? Because grid uh, stretches and shrinks uh, our monitors like a rubber, uh, depending on which uh, gadgets we are using now. When mobile phone, it's, uh, it's with, with smaller and smaller. When a big monitor, wide monitor, it will uh, uh, stretch uh, wider and wider. It's uh, like a rubber. That's why the important thing, very important thing, we should write our design among inside inside this uh, grid. Without grid, everything will be collapsing. We will lose all our images. We will lose all our tables. And uh, the programmer will confused. Uh, what made uh, our web designer? It's it's uh, it's uh, uh, difficult to programmer uh, to write uh, to rewrite again and again this design. And at at the end, you will see that it is not a, such a result uh, which you uh, which you waiting uh, from programmer. And that's why I said every everyone. Uh, uh, everyone and uh, every day to the uh, designer, please learn codes. Okay, now I will uh, show you something crucial. It is so lot of uh, programs, so many programs, but I'm using branches. Why I am using branches? It's because maybe it's uh, personally, I, I, uh, it's a habitation. I, I uh, use it because uh, about the five or six year I'm using this program, it's uh, easier for me. But you can also take another program, it's possible. We will open Breakits program. This Breakits program is uh, free for using. You can download this program and use it uh, uh, everywhere, it's possible. And look here, what we, we uh, now try to write down everything now in with codes because how i told you codes now uh, the knowledge of the codes it's a, it's a big plus for a web designer look we go here and open new file and when we open this new file we should uh, uh, we should uh, give uh, some name to the uh, web pages or websites. Okay, here, save as, save as, and I take maybe some uh, uh, part of this and uh, uh, second, okay, I have found it. Okay, I write here maybe uh, first lesson or I write down lecture. Uh -huh. Here you have to uh, know that how we uh, have to write down uh, properly. After point, after point, you have to write a HTML. 
HTML. Uh, without it, it will not uh, work. Okay, we save it. And now we see uh, nothing, only white page. And now we are writing some very similar codes, which I advise you to know. I will send it also to you in order that you in a free time can use it, okay? If you have some question, you can ask me, no problem. Dog type, why dog type? Because we're typing some documents. That's why dog type, okay? And then inside it, we write HTML, okay? Then what is a, a crucial thing for us? It's a head, it's a head, okay? Then uh, at first we write HTML. Why HTML divided in three parts? Because we call it tags, tags. Tags are, uh, tags have two types, uh, double tags and alone tags. Double tags and alone tags. Why double tags and why alone tags? Because when we tell you double text, it means we have to write inside this text. Look, the first tag is opened and the second text is closed. And how I can now, uh, it's closed. With this, you see, it's closed. And now everything, all web page codes, also the programmer, should write inside these codes, okay? Everything okay? Do you understand me? I can go, okay, go on, okay? Then it's a bit maybe difficult for you, but you uh, may ask me exactly, yeah? Immediately when you uh, do not understand something, okay? I'm going deeper and deeper to the web design, okay? Everything okay? Then we write here, Head. How I have told, I have already told that header, header is a crucial thing for us. Header. Okay, we make hit. Hit. And inside hit, we can write our other codes. And the crucial thing, of course, we can write also title. Title, it means when we see web page, they are uh, in the top is a is a written the name of the page. It's a title. I will show it. No problem. I write here maybe a uh, mobile phone. Okay, mobile phone. Mobile phone. Okay, good. And then we go to the to the body part, body. It's a crucial thing. The huge part of our web page, body part. Okay. Uh, imagine that we want to write here our uh, company name, maybe. And how I will write it down with the H one. H one is the but uh, most, uh, it's a bigger uh, letters, which we can use, H1. And inside H1, we write mobile or selling, selling of mobile phones. You see? Okay. Now we, with the control S, control S, we save it, we save it, control S. Then I go to my uh, site, you see, lecture. And I open it with a Chrome. And I see here, selling of mobile phones. Okay, it's so easy. It's so easier uh, uh, than rather to write it in a Photoshop, in a Corel Draw, and then 
send it to programmer in order that he writes some codes, better way to write yourself for yourself codes and send it with uh, some comments to the programmer. It is easier and uh, it will be uh, resulted uh, more better than another things. Selling of mobile phones. And now it's a crucial thing for our designer, style. In the, inside the styles, we can make everything what we want. This style is named CSS part. What I have already written, it's a HTML. It's the structure of web design. It's the only structure. Uh, but now some colors, some movements, some interesting parts for web designer to show his uh, fantasy here. Look, I write here style. Look, and inside style, I want to make uh, maybe uh, maybe this uh, selling of mobile phones in a red color. Okay, I write here H1, open branches, and here write, please make color. Red, okay, everything. I save it and I go here to the web page and voila, it's a red color. It's a so easy. It's easier than make it in a Photoshop, in Coral Draw, you are losing time. Better write down exactly, immediately in, with codes. It's a better uh, way to web design. Now, I want to see that in a center, in the middle of the page. What I make, I write center. You see, center is also double text. Why? Because inside this center must be our writings, selling of mobile phones. Okay, I save it. I go here and voila, it's in the middle of the page. This is so easy, okay? then. We go to our code. Maybe I want to make it more bigger than H1. Okay, it's possible also. It's in our hand. Why not? We write font size, uh, font size. You see, the codes helps you. They uh, show us everything which we can use. I look font size, okay and I write 30 pixels. I save it and I see here again, uh -huh, it's uh, smaller and make it maybe bigger, bigger. You see, it's a uh, bigger now. Not only with writing, we can make our web design, okay? Not losing a the time. Then, uh, what I wanted to show you, we can make some movements. Why not? It is also in our ability. We can do it. How? Okay, we write here under selling P. What's the P? P, it's printing, printing a little uh, maybe letters. I am writing here. We are at your disposal, disposal disposal uh, 24 seven, uh, seven days, 24 hours. Okay, we are at your disposal uh, seven days, 24 hours. Okay, very nice. And now I won't see that. I write P and I make color. Maybe we will make it the green. Why not green? Okay, maybe I won't see that. Um, maybe uh, not uh, not sixty pixel, of course, but maybe thirty pixel. Font size, look, font size is appearing here, and I write thirty pixels. Save it. Go here, and uh, voila, we are at your disposal. Seven days for 24 hours. And now I want to see how it's moving. 
because in a Photoshop, in a Corel Draw, in a other uh, programs, you cannot move it. But here it's possible. Okay, I will show you. Why not? We can do everything if we are a good web designer. Look, here it's a merge, merge. Look, merge. It's written. Also, it's double text. We put that here. Look, save it, go and see, voila. And it must be, it must be now, go, uh, uh, excuse me, merge. Ah, I have forgotten R, R, okay, R. Okay, now, look, it's going, you see, it's going. And you will tell me, oh, uh, teacher, it's uh, boring. It's moving very slowly. No problem. No problem, dear. No problem. I can, I can scroll it. Why not? I have written already here for you. Look. Uh, excuse me. One second. I take it and I uh, can uh, change direction of the uh, moving. Look here, inside merge, opened merge, not closing, opened merge. I can write here, scroll amount 10 and direction left. It begins from left to the right. Okay, and go here, you see? It's moving and do you want it faster? Okay, it's also possible. I make it 50. Now it's well running. See you? <laughs> Everything possible. It's in our hands. Why not? That's why you should now code HTML and CSS code. And now I want to put down some images. Why not? It's also possible. Okay. I write here, look. I write here image. Okay. One thing, image, it's a alone tag, not double tag. Okay. Image. And here inside, I make some link, which will to take uh, our pictures from the computer or from other parts. I write here. And now this code, uh, this program will show me, okay, which one do you want to take? Aha, uh -huh. I think it's a better the first one. PNG, it's a format of the pictures. I uh, save it and go down here and I say, voila, it's almost done my web page. You look, it's uh, so easy. And now look here. After that, I want make some background color. It's also possible. I go to here and write in a style part body. Why body? Because we make body background color. And I write here body background color and here background color. And I write maybe, 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 maybe blue. Why not blue, blue. And we see here that the uh, background color changed to the blue. Uh -huh. I said, hmm, it is boring for me. I am not a, such a web designer who can make only one color. Mm, it's boring. What I have to do? Uh -huh. I, must, I must, I should make some gradient of the colors. Why not? It's also possible. Look here. I have done it uh, for you already. It's a liner gradient, liner gradient. What means liner gradient? It means uh, 
up uh, to us how many colors we want to use in a background. I make, I, I choose uh, blue, violet, and red. You can make more and more uh, colors. Look, I save it and I look for the gradient. You see, first go blue colors and then comes uh, violet colors and then comes red colors. And I am changing uh, it slowly from one color to another color. How many time you will lose for making it in Photoshop in Coral Draw? But here, writing one code and it appears. It's easier way. It's uh, more faster. Okay. During one hour, you can make some nice sketch for websites. Why not? Then you can see here, I can maybe uh, maybe change the colors. I can write here yellow. Why not yellow? Look. And it's changing from yellow to uh, violet to red and so on, so on. It's up to us changing it. And now I want to show you some uh, another things. It's uh, animation. Animation. What's animation? We can make with our image some animation. It will move how we want it. Why not? Okay. I will take here uh, in a side of image. Yeah, image, you know, here. Yeah. I put here mobile phone. Not a people, but mobile phone. Why not? Okay. Okay, here is mobile phone. You see, this mobile phone is too bigger. I won't make it smaller. How can I do it? It's also possible. I go to the images. I can go to the images and write down here size of images. But how? I want to know with white and higher has uh, this image. I write wise here, maybe, maybe 200 pixels and higher, maybe 300 pixels. Okay, approximately. But I can change it, of course, every time it's possible. Look here, it's, it's smaller, okay? Then let's us to make animation. Novita, I have a question. Uh, may I uh, uh, go on or uh, we have only one hour to explanation for lecture? Uh, one hour is minimum until one hour, more 30 minutes is maximum. Okay, it's possible. Then and go, I go on because I have so more information for our students. Oh, but yeah. if, if they have some questions, please welcome. I, I will listen and explain everything. Okay, for you can questions. ask the students if they have some questions until now. Oh, yes, yeah. For the question, okay. usually uh, we'll be start of the end of presentation. Okay, okay. Yeah. Good. Okay, I go on. And now I want to show you some animation. How we can make some animation for, uh, for this. Okay, look, I have made it already here. How we write uh, this. For animation, we have to show some position of the uh, image. What's the position? It means I said to computer, please make it uh, uh, to be uh, movable. I want to move it. That's why I write position relative. It's a crucial thing, position relative. In order that we'll move around. Then I can write down these animations. Look, animation name. I have written our staff, but I will change it. Maybe I write mobile phone or phone. Okay, phone. Animation dura duration. It means we'll 
I go around the page five seconds. I give him animation duration five seconds. Then uh, timing, timing fiction in a liner, not uh, maybe randomly, but with the line. I have shown him uh, the uh, direction, go in this line, which I have planned already. And then delay two seconds and make I make it infinite. Infinite that it doesn't stop. It go uh, always infinite, okay? Then I will give him key and phrase. Key phrase, frames, it means I will give him some key, please with this key frames, it's a your frames, go through these frames, okay? And I give him also some, uh, some background colors. It's also possible. And I want that it doesn't only move, but also change its uh, background colors. Look here. I have to uh, name here also. Look, I have, I have written name form. That's why here also I have write form. Okay. In order that program will say, aha, uh -huh, it's a phone and his phone. I have to connect this animation together. And then I have made a background and other colors. Okay, one second. Okay. I close it. Okay, I go down and look how it will change. Mm -hmm. One second. I have made maybe some mistakes. One second. Okay. Okay. Key frames. Look, it's moving, it's moving. It means we can do some movement in our uh, web page. Now tell me please, is it possible to do in a Photoshop, Corel Draw, 3D Max, in other things? No, it is possible to write down. And now look here. Now I want to write down some comments to my programmer. Please um, make it uh, maybe, uh, I don't know, go, uh, going uh, as a circle. I write here comments. Comments we must write in this way. Please uh, write down, write down uh, some information for it. For example, it's a message to my client or to my programmer. And I will send it to my client who is in USA and to my uh, programmer who is, for example, in Baku, okay, from Indonesia. They will both exactly see my comments. I don't want to call them each time, to write down each, each time, no. It's comments, my comments, I have written down. It's a, it's a uh, speedway, it's a very fast, make some uh, teamwork, okay? Now, what I want to show you about grids. Uh -huh. What's the grids? I have told you already, we make some tables, some blocks, and these blocks we can name in a classes and up classes. And with that, we can make it uh, maybe widely or smaller, depending on which gadgets we are using. Look here, it's very interesting also. I write here in a body part, in a body part, some blocks. These blocks I call with the div. 
And uh, here in a div, I write here, maybe look here, I have done already for it for you. One second. Here. I will show it to you. What what does it? Uh, the first div, it's a grid container. Uh, maybe you have seen a uh, Russian uh, matryoshka. Have you seen ever Russian matryoshka? It's uh, like a uh, big uh, maybe uh, tool and inside it, it's coming uh, more smaller and smaller, uh, 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 some, uh, uh, some uh, matryoshkas. It means a little uh, part of uh, these, uh, of these um, uh, tools. And uh, what I mean, it means it's a big box and in the inside of the big box, we have smaller and smaller and smaller boxes. And we make it in a very big uh, uh, white box. And we call it as a grid container. Why we are calling it class? Because with the class, we can uh, go only to these parts. Look here. Inside style, I make point because classes we call with the point. And here I write grid container. Okay, you see grid container. And uh, another class, you see uh, inside these boxes, uh, how can I tell you? One second, I will show you maybe in these pictures. Okay, maybe, maybe here. Uh -huh. Look, I take some box. Okay, and it's grid container, grid container. Why uh, container, we understand why container, because it uh, has uh, a lot of boxes inside. But why grid? Because it will, uh, it will uh, stretch and shrinks like a rubber, depending on our gadgets. It's uh, uh, smaller, uh, it has smaller uh, maybe monitors or uh, wider monitors. And inside this uh, grid container, we will have maybe one uh, boxes. And then inside it, the second boxes. And then third boxes and so on. And these boxes we call grid item. Of course, you can name it another way. Why we name it so? Because our programmer after us can understand it. Why we are using it? Aha, uh -huh, it's a grid container, it's a grid item, okay? And now I will write this code here. Grid, I have written here, classes, grid container, and make it grid, grid item. It's an inside. You see, we have one, two, three, four, five, six grid container, uh, grid items, excuse me, grid items, but only one grid container, okay? And now the first thing we have to tell him, please make it grid. That's why we write display grid, display grid, make it grid like a rubber, okay? And then I go here, I have already written for you something. 
look, we make some columns, background and padding. You know what's the padding. You have seen it uh, many times in uh, Word programs, maybe in a Photoshop programs. Look, grid tape, tape com columns, template columns. It means auto, auto, auto. What is, does it mean? Auto, auto, auto. It means, please, Divide my monitor automatically in three parts. <clears throat> and a computer now exactly which size has, uh, which wide has my monitor. And I don't, uh, it doesn't matter for me. It's, a, I don't know, 50 or 60. It's uh, up, up to computer. Computer by, uh, know it exactly. And that's why I divided it into three automatically in three parts. We can make it four part, 10 part. It's up to us how many columns we want. And I make some back, background color, maybe aqua, why not? And uh, padding, 10. Maybe by padding, padding, it means these boxes, but this box uh, will have some paddings from right side and from left side. Padding 10, okay? In order not, not to be very close to the monitor, it must be a bit, bit in the middle. That's why 10 from right, 10 from left. It's a padding. And now we go to the grid item, okay? With a grid item, we can also make something. Look here. One second. Uh -huh. It's also interesting thing here. Look, we write border. What's a border? Uh -huh. It's a frame. I make frame a big wider, two pixels. Solid, I make it blue colors. I can frame make some red colors, yellow colors. It's up to me. Why not? Text align. Please write text. What's the text? You see here inside, I have written one. This one will be in, uh, in the middle of the boxes, not in the left, not in the right, not uh, up, not below, only in the middle. That's why I write it text line center. Then I make color one, two, three, four, five, six will be in a red color. By note, we can change it. And font size 20 pixels, okay. Background color, and I make it background color red. You can ask me, what does it mean F, F, and four times zero? Uh -huh. It's a RGB colors, RGB colors. What does it mean RGB colors? I will explain you immediately. Look here. RGB colors, it means red plus blue plus, uh, uh, or excuse me, plus green and plus blue. And all uh, other colors will meet uh, with the combination of these three colors. Red, green, blue colors, RGB colors. RGB colors divided into two items, two parts, two types. And the first is a decimal, decimal, decimal. What's the decimal? We write so, RGB, and here inside, and here inside, we can make zero, zero, zero. And maybe we can do that uh, 255. Why 255? Because RGB has only 256 color stones. Not more and no less. Only 256. Why six? Because we also uh, use uh, this zero. Zero from zero to 20, uh, 55, it means 2056 color stone has, has RGB. We can write it with a color. And it means that it is, it is uh, blue. It is blue. We will use it, okay? And RGB has a second types. It's a... Uh, uh, hexadecimal. What's the hexadecimal? It means here we can 
make some sharp and right here maybe maybe one two three four f f it's also blue it's also blue it means we can color write with the word of course i can write so blue the computer will understand it no problem but when i want to make some tones of the blue colors maybe mix with the violet maybe mix with the yellow colors i can make these tones also in decimal hexadecimal with the rgb colors okay okay we go to the chords here that's why i have written here you see ff and four times zero it means red color red color okay yes of course i can write here red why not it's also possible but when you write it aha programmer said wow the web designer from indonesia is a very educated man wow it's good why not to show your knowledge to the customer to show your no your knowledge to the programmer to have a higher uh, maybe level it's good to know rgb colors by heart or or you can write down or there is some book i will show you some websites okay look here is rgb colors look here and with the, all these things it's a written white blue red you can take it here yeah, look uh code decimal code and hex uh, decimal code you see everything is written here if you forget something if you don't know it then you can go to the site you can find it and you can use it why not it's possible and in a maybe two three years uh, uh you will know it by heart why not okay it's my advice to you then what we make now okay we have written everything and now we uh with control s save it and go down and look here aha uh -huh. we see our our look here we see one two three four above you see that in the top okay and now i will show you something look when i close it look 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 i make it smaller do you see it i make it smaller and these uh, uh, boxes are going smaller also and i make it wider you know you see they are going wider why because we have written it in the inside the grids grids uh stretch and shrinks when we write it down okay and inside this box we can make everything what we want to do look here i make grid item grid item and uh okay, excuse me grid item and look here now again okay i have made it in red and now i can uh maybe I can maybe again it's going down it's making smaller and then wider we are not losing some information some images i use it in mobile phone open it in mobile phone it's going smaller i'm looking uh, or using utilizing it in a monitor and it's going uh, wider and wider it's possible why not it's possible also okay what i wanted to show you again and it's uh, the possibility to make some maybe buttons look here buttons it's uh, also an uh, important part of our web page everywhere when we want to go down to put down something we need some buttons okay it's uh, easier to make i make here for example uh button button 
and the right inside button push push okay and now i uh, save it look i have i have button already here push for example for example with pushing i want to tell programmer please make it so that this uh, by pushing it uh, this uh, mobile phone will be bigger or will be dis uh, disappeared something and other things okay it's it's programmer business why because it's uh, written in javascript i write down here comments please make it that this image will disappear okay and programmer when he get it he understand aha uh -huh. by pushing this uh, button it must be disappear okay very good but the design of of this button it's our business we can do it why i i uh, will show you how it's possible i go here inside the styles i write here button look and now inside button i make it i want that it was it will be circled why not it is possible border maybe maybe i will border radius look here border radius okay 50 percent why must be 100 pixel and height also 100 pixel look here you see it's circled it's nice yes and now i can make some background and uh, front uh, ground with some colors okay i write here background color must be yellow why not and front ground colors must be must be red. Why not? Okay, we look here. We look here, and we see, voila. Okay, the push, the letter push, is uh, so small. I will see that bigger. It's possible also. I write font size font size maybe 30 pixel i don't know it's bigger or not we will see that uh-huh look push and now i want uh, maybe make uh, some another things maybe i want to change font family font family what's the font family do you know exactly it's a uh, uh, name of the fonts look i make the font family maybe i make it fantasy why not fantasy but there are some libraries we can put it from the computer from the uh, some other sites and use it uh, also in our in our program in our web design okay look i have changed the style of the of the front it's also possible okay but by pushing it I want that this telephone will disappear and maybe some other pictures comes. It's a business of a programmer. I have uh, already written comments to the programmer. Please make it for me. That's all, okay? And that's why I said, uh, firstly, the responsibility of the web designer is to work in a team and write comments to the client and to the programmer. Be inside, be between these uh, persons, crucial persons, because uh, you, we, uh, you, we should know that we cannot live in a one place. My client can be in USA, I am in Indonesia, and the uh, programmer is uh, in Azerbaijan. It's a uh, uh, easier way to write some comments and send it 
over internet and he gets it right down and send it me in a, in a seconds maybe or in an hour. I can uh, lose this uh, a little problem exactly uh, very, very fast. And then what I want to uh, show you, borders I have uh, shown you, okay. There are so lot of things we can discuss uh, maybe later, but uh, I know that uh, our time is uh, limited, uh, that we don't have uh, so many uh, times. Uh, that's why um, so much time, that's why um, I am ready to uh, listen to your question. If you have, please, you're welcome. Novita? Yes. Are you listening to me? Arjun? Are you listening to me? Yes, Are yes. Me? Okay. I am ready to uh, hear your questions, please. Oh, yeah. Uh, for our audience, if you want to ask question, you can raise your hand or you can write in the room chat. Okay, for... for... Guys, I have written here a lot of information. I will send it uh, to you. And here is also a written interface development, encoding in CSS. I have written something for you. When you have uh, forgotten something, you can uh, read it, everything. And how is HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, which uh, rules they, uh, this program have. And also, I have written here all uh, uh, programs which uh, should uh, want this web designer to know. Uh, Coral Draw, Photoshop, 3D Max, it's uh, good, but HTML, CSS, also it's, uh, it, they are important. To work in a team, you know, it's, uh, it's uh, important for a uh, programmer. And here I have a written conclusion. Summarizing above told lectures, we can conclude that web designer tasks are ability of hand making some sketches it must we can uh, have we ha uh, should uh, maybe draw some uh, little sketches because everything the idea comes uh, maybe immediately and we uh, we must be able to draw something immediately and to show to clients okay then communication with the customer client and programmer I have told it many times, you know it. Intermediation among customer and programmer. You, uh, you are in the middle. Here is a customer, client, and here is a programmer. And you talk with each other and you make some uh, uh, huge uh, maybe project. And that's why you have to be intermediate in, in intermediation. Utilizing all best soft programs. Of course, of course. It's... Uh, it's also positive things when web designer know a lot of uh, soft programs, but inside it must be HTML and CSS. It's my own opinion. Controlling of speed of the websites and not overloading website with a huge image. Okay, you know that uh, there are so many programs, they make image smaller, the size of image smaller. You can do it, why not? It's possible also, but uh, please control that uh, the uh, quality of the image not be lost, okay? Then uh, knowledge of HTML and CSS. And here I have uh, given for you some references. You can uh, read these books and to know uh, maybe some uh, web design more better. There is a written in uh, English and in uh, other language also. And it's thank you for uh, your uh, attention. <laughs> I am I am ready to your question. Okay, thank you for the wonderful presentation and for the new lead. No lead. Yeah, for our audience, if you wanna ask question, you can raise your hand or you can write in the room chat. Okay, for first question, we have. Question from audience in the Zoom chat. First question from Mr. Agus Salim. How do you determine the right theme for web design? Thank you. 
uh, determine the uh, web design. You know, we uh, the firstly, uh, I have told already that uh, web design is a crucial, maybe important part of our life. We should know about it because with our web design, we uh, can make a profitable some company or uh, we can make some uh, bad web design that uh, the company will uh, lose uh, their customers. And a lot of uh, big uh, responsibility are in our, our shoulders. We do uh, understand psychology of the uh, company, uh, maybe some uh, plans of the company, why are they selling this maybe production and where are they selling some uh, production? You know, I always said my uh, students, please think where, in which country uh, will, you will work, for which country. Maybe uh, there are some countries where some colors are maybe forbidden. Maybe using some images are forbidden there, but you don't know about it. That's why please read at first the uh, maybe history about this uh, company, about this country, to understand psychology of the people who will look to your uh, web page, to your designing. And it's the uh, firstly things to understand the uh, property properly, everything about the countries, about the population of these countries. Because for example, I make something for, uh, I don't know, for Mexico, okay? Uh, I have told uh, many times to my students in Mexico, if I am not mistaken, to put down some bags uh, on the uh, ground, it's forbidden, you know? Why? Because it means for population, you are losing money. Please don't do it. it yet now imagine that we make some uh, website for bags, for selling bags, and we uh, show image that the uh, bag is uh, on the ground. Wow, it's very bad things because we didn't know about psychology of these uh, people, you know? Or for Azerbaijan to see some bread on the ground, it's not good. It's bad. On, it must not be in the ground. When we see some bread on the ground, we take it, we kiss it and put it by side because the, some birds can uh, come and eat that. It must be not in a street, in the middle of the street because the people can step that and it's bad for Azerbaijan. Now look, if uh, some uh, Indonesian uh, designer make design where bread is on the street, uh, like a bad attraction it will be made. That's why I think the first step it's understanding psychology of the people population. Okay, thank you for answering. And then to the second question, this is question from Miss Febriana. Is web design necessary in a business, sir? Thank you. I don't, I, I didn't understand. Uh, can you repeat uh, this question? Is web design necessary in a business? Uh -huh. uh, can, can, can you explain me in other way? Because uh, I didn't catch this idea. What uh, she oh. means? Okay, uh, I will go to, to the next question. Is no, 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 no. Explain oh. it with another way. What uh, she means? What does she mean? Uh, web design, is it important for the business field? Yes, of course. Yes, of course. Uh, how I have told, uh, how I have already told that uh, your web design it's a part, it's a, a huge part of the profit of companies. If you make some bad, maybe web page, uh, it, uh, this web page will uh, 
uh, maybe uh, have uh, not so good information or wrong information or wrong images or uh, have, have uh, I have told you the psychology of the uh, uh, country of the population of the uh, also firms, it can go in a wrong way. And that's why, please, uh, before making some web design, ask more questions to the customer, to the client. Please don't shame, don't shame asking some questions. You have right, everything, what client wants in order not to make some difficulties, some problems, some troubles in the future. Okay, thank you. And then the next question, this is from Mr. Miss Bahul. have two questions. First, how to make your design for nice mobile view or responsive design? And the second, in your code, there is no basic meta tag. What is meta tag function for? Is it important for, is it important or not for finding web market target? Thank you. Okay, uh, look here. Uh, have, I have told about uh, displaying some grids. Yeah, it's uh, for our new technologies to using some gadgets like a uh, mobile phones, like uh, other gadgets. You know, this technology isn't stopping in a one place. It's uh, always changing and improving the open. And that's why web designer should also follow these new technologies. Today, displaying some grids, it's a new technologies. Tomorrow, maybe will be appear the new other technologies. And we, a web designer, we uh, should uh, know everything about the new technology and can use this uh, for our future, for our, uh, in our portfolio also. And what I uh, think, what uh, it's about the codes, I have told you that uh, writing codes, it's a crucial thing for the web designer, you know? If you write HTML, CSS code, it's, uh, it means you are good educated uh, web designer. It means you can connect, uh, communicate with the programmer in his level, in his level. That's a pro you know what to tell programmer exactly uh, that he can make some uh, changes. I have shown you the uh, button. When we put to the button, maybe uh, the mobile phone must uh, disappear. Uh -huh. It's a connection. It's a communication with the programmer. I can tell him, please do that. But he can not exactly understand me. But when I write this, of course, it's possible. And the, by code writings, it must be some structure. I have shown you, uh, firstly, uh, header, body, and footer parts. And with these parts, you can also make some uh, easily structure. You cannot uh, maybe write menu part in the middle or in the bottom. It must be in the top. It's a structure of the coding. It's a structure. And this structure which fol will follow also program. Okay. Okay, thank you. And then we still have two questions again. This is for next question. What tools are used to design a website for a beginner? This is question from Miss Hori. Thank you. Uh, I, I still uh, didn't understand exactly. Can you uh, repeat this question? Okay, uh, can you recommend uh, tools for web design, web design for the beginner? Yes, 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 of yeah. course. For the beginner, of course, it's uh, recommended uh, to learn uh, some, uh, web, uh, some, some design program because web designer comes from uh, design, graphic design. You uh, should uh, learn at first the uh, uh, graphic design and then and then come to the web design and tools which we use in our web design tools is also uh, the soft program photoshop coral draw 3d max and other 
But then next, when we're using some codes, you, uh, you have to use, of course, as first HTML codes. These HTML codes, of course, it's a good written in a brackets program, which I have shown you. Uh, this brackets program is using, uh, is easily by using Y because they are giving you some comments, some, uh, something uh, uh, comes exactly for you, which you can use. For example, I have written down font, font, it's letters. And when I write font, it comes a, a list of the font. I can uh, make, uh, I can uh, choose size, familiar, maybe borders and other. It uh, show me some tools which I can use by uh, web design. It's for beginners, of course. But when you are maybe some uh, professional in web design, of course, you don't need these tools. You know it uh, by head and, uh, and you can write it also in a Word program. It's also pr pr uh, possible. For, for beginner, of course, brackets, it's a good way to learn. And that's why I have shown you this brackets program today as a good tool for you. Okay, thank you for answer explanation. And then the last question is, is from Mr. Henke. Is there knowledge besides HTML, such Python or PHP? Which one the compatible one? Thank you. Okay. HTML uh, is, uh, I think uh, this HTML is uh, the first step for web designer. Of course, we can uh, uh, use some other programs. Yes, you know that uh, now, nowadays is a Python programs also uh, very important, uh, not only for web designer, but also for another, pro uh, another designer. Uh, you uh, can may maybe use some other programs. Uh, there, are, uh, there are some uh, JavaScript programs and uh, some other forms of the images, JPEG, PNG, Web, and other. It's up to you uh, which tools, which programs is useful for you. It's uh, easier for you by using then you can use it. It's, uh, you know, it's important the result of our web design. In which way we are coming to the uh, result, it's not so important. Important is uh, using these uh, programs. Uh, some of them, uh, some of web designer use uh, only Photoshop, some only Corel Draw, some only Adobe Illustrator. But I advise you use all of them and uh, to make in order to make a good result of course when you can also write down some html and css codes it is uh, more better for you in order to communicate the programmer okay thank you you're welcome Yeah, I think we don't have no more question again from our audience. Before I close this event, my uh, we go to, to the next session for them. I'm sorry, them for documentation for take a picture. Sure. Okay. Uh, you yeah. you know the documentation is also uh, crucial for uh, web designer. Yeah. Uh, this documentation must be taken from client. You know. Uh, all information uh, which we need in a web page, we cannot uh, maybe bring uh, some uh, our fantasy down and write some information about the firm. It's impossible. We, that's why I said uh, that uh, we have to take all information, all documentation from clients. And during our writing some uh, web design, making some web design, of course, we can have some question. Uh, about documentation, we can ask uh, the, uh, our client. There must be uh, Word documentation, Excel documentation, PDF documentation, maybe uh, some other. And we can put it also in uh, our web page. But, but uh, uh, 
when we speak about web designer uh, web designer documentation, I mean I mean that we have to make some part. Maybe uh, uh, we can save it in our computer or pictures. We will use all. Uh, maybe I will show you. Second, second, I'm sure. Look, I make here some part and write here my web page. Okay, open it and here divide it to some uh, other documentation for me. I write here HTML, look. Then second, I write here CSS. Okay. I write here JPEG. I can write here JPEG or better to write here pictures. Pictures. Okay. And I write here for programmer some uh, some maybe uh, GS JavaScript, which he uh, uh, should do. Should do. Then uh, I write here also documentation maybe uh, from client. It means some information which I will uh, take from client. It must be in order made. Uh, properly, and then each time when the programmer, when the client would uh, see that, I will go here, I will see all my colors, all my images here, all my uh, movement animation here. And I go here, I will see documentation taken from client, like Excel, Word, PDF, and other things. And now HTML, I will write only uh, something which I will send with the comments to the programmer. And here, GS, which will uh, uh, be written by, uh, uh, by a programmer. And here, by pictures, I will put down all pictures, all maybe videos, all maybe audios here, which will, uh, will be I uh, use in my uh, programs, okay? In web page. It, it means documentation. Okay, thank you. And then to the next question, this is from audience in the YouTube from Mr. Suharso. In, digi in digital era, is it very practical to program something important, but those who are weak in IT find difficultly operate it? What solution do you have, sir? Thank you. Okay. You know, uh, YouTube channel, uh, there, there is a lot of information tutorials in a YouTube channels which we can, of course, use in our uh, learning some uh, web uh, designing, web program, web pages. But, you know, uh, sometimes uh, there are freelancers. There are people, uh, they uh, do not have some uh, higher education. They, uh, they are only uh, making by themselves uh, something, learning something. And I will not advise to use a lot of YouTube channel, uh, but learn it uh, maybe from uh, books. There are some uh, good uh, books written by uh, American uh, or England or uh, from Indian. There are written so many uh, very uh, highly in the high quality uh, books, e-books. E and you can uh, better use these e-books than YouTube channel because uh, there are something uh, can be uh, wrong or uh, it, it, there are people, the tutors can uh, clarify the lectures very difficult. You cannot understand it exactly or understand it in a wrong way. And uh, that's why a uh, better uh, way, of course, it's a study at the university, but if you don't have any time for it, or if, if you are maybe enough, uh, maybe older for studying, it's a good way to download some ebooks or put in PDF format and read it. And by reading, you can uh, make uh, some uh, 
some codes, some writings, something uh, in order to repeat all what's written in the books and it will uh, develop your knowledge. It's my, it's my opinion. Okay, thank you. And then the last question, this is from Miss Ani Kariati from Audits in the YouTube. How make we design for a language education? Thanks before, thank you. Language education? Yes. Okay. Oh, it's it's a funny, funny question for me. You know, uh, uh, of course, uh, the language of uh, web pages, uh, it's uh, English language. Why English language? Because all codes uh, are written in English language. Uh, we can write also comments in uh, other languages, in the Russian language, in Turkish, in other language, in French, in German language. If our programmer, if our client uh, speak in other language, it's possible. But the codes, uh, terms which we uh, uh, use always, it's written in English, but it isn't a difficult thing, uh, especially when we use not only HTML and CSS, but also Python. We can uh, make some design with a Python also, and Python is more easier for using like uh, HTML and CSS because there is written everything by uh, words. You can write some words maybe open please this uh, page and it opens. We do not write some codes, F0, uh, 1, 2, it, it uh, doesn't matter. We write, please open, please make it. And Python makes it. That's why Python is more uh, maybe famous now uh, programs like another uh, programs. And in Python, we can make front-end developing and back-end developing. Front-end developing partly uh, belongs to web design, of course. And my advice is also, uh, if you do not know some programs, start please from uh, Python. It's a good way. And that's why languages, it's a crucial thing to know English, but you do not have uh, no English in a very high level. It uh, you, you have to know maybe in a, R2 or B1 level, it's enough. Okay, thank you. We, I think we don't have no more question again from our clients. I will go to, to the next session for them take a picture. Yeah, for everyone, please open your camera. We will take a picture for documentation. Okay, for everyone, please open your camera. Bagi para peserta bisa dinyalakan terlebih dahulu untuk kameranya. I will kick count of one, two, three. Okay, another one. One, two, three. Smile. Okay. Finally, we come to the end of visiting lecture today. We would like to say thanks for Dr. Fugar Abdul Rafi for the wonderful information. Thank you You're for welcome. sharing your You're knowledge. Welcome. We hope this information will be beneficial for our audience. And I hope we can meet again at another event in the future with the Western Caspian University Azerbaijan. Also, I would like to thank for our participants for attending this class and making this class more interesting. At least we hope to have more collaboration in the future. The sitting lecture for today and here. We hope to see you soon. Thank you and have a nice day. Thank you so much for Dr. Fugar. Bye. Ciao. Ciao. See you next time. Ciao. See you. Is that a great session?